Hi Chantel. Equine dragon. That barking here in the background is one of my five pets. I had to think about it for a second. That's because I have so many pets. But I thought I would show you something very interesting today, especially for Chantel. Today, we're gonna do a dishes tutorial. So, follow along. First, you're gonna need dirty dishes. Chantel, you've got dirty dishes, so you got this part covered, okay? So here in the sink, we have the dirty dishes. And we come, let's come in closer, because you wanna see them. See, look, dishes, they're dirty. So we're gonna do something interesting. What you're gonna need is a sink, faucet with running water, check, check. Dishwashers are cool, okay? You got a dishwasher, okay? Got that, cool, all right. Dirty dishes, definitely got that. Let's get two, oh, let's get two, okay. So you're just gonna rinse the dishes, like so, you know, so that you can put them in the dishwasher, okay? It really doesn't take that much time. It can just feel like it's gonna take some time, but I promise you, once you start, it goes pretty quickly. So here we go. Now you might feel tired. You just gotta work through it. You might wanna take a nap, I trust you, you gotta fight the urge. Let's keep going. We got some forks. They're already rinsed. We got a bowl. Get on here. See, sometimes the dishes don't want to go in the dishwasher. And you just gotta yell at the dishes. You're like, hey, fuckers. Yeah, exactly. See, this isn't very good. Yeah. More dishes. Oh, look, there's some funky stuff on it. Probably just rinse it off. Otherwise, the funky stuff gets stuck on the other dishes and it's not cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, look, we're, now we're making some real progress. Oh my god. Oop. Yeah. Gross. See, all these dishes were from today. I know. So embarrassing. Oh, more. Our morning coffee cup. Side note. rearrange the dishes. It's all part of the experience though. And look at that. Look, look. I know. It's amazing. We're not done. Okay, we're going to we're going to take our cleaning a little bit further. Hang on, trust the process. I was microwaving something and I was like, ew. It wasn't me. Probably the dog. Matilda! It's dishwasher safe. Around, make sure we didn't forget any dishes. Oh, look what we found. So this is an interesting concept. You just put things back where you found them. It's really easy. So this goes. Oh, that's backwards. Voila game show host. So cool. I know. Check. Not sure. See, sometimes 
sometimes if you're not sure something's dirty or not, you can just throw it in the dishwasher. Like better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? for years. Okay. Now this part is kind of complicated. It's called turning on your dishwasher. So you make sure it's closed. Check. So let's cycle. Start. Oh my god, that was so much work. But we're not done. See now? We'll bring you in a little closer. We're gonna clean our sink out. I'm gonna be kind of cut up, but it's all good. I'm still here. I'm just up here. Ooh, the sink's a little smelly. Mmm, <laughs> it's starting to smell good. It's starting to smell like Dawn, not sponsored but you could sponsor me because I've been cleaning my own home for years. Matilda, are you here too? Look. It's the community that we've created. Are you gonna help me? <gasps> Yay! Okay. You rinse this out. Very important that you do that. Okay, this is gonna be a little loud. It's called cleaning your garbage disposal. I like to do it often. So what I do, is a little bit of soap. dishes go I don't know and that is how you clean your dishes I'm here to help okay hi welcome back yes that was a troll moment I know I'm sorry so just a quick background about me um, for those of you who might be new welcome to my channel I'm not always this bitchy and trolly but today um, I have zero patience for filth so I'm sorry um I've been living on my own for many years now as I am 43 years old so I've been cleaning for a very long time I wouldn't necessarily say I have a cleaning schedule I just pick up when things get messy and I do cleaning things that need to be done once a week you know like bathrooms laundry dusting, stuff like that, you know, just naturally, you just do it like once a week or so. Uh, dishes usually get done daily, so. <laughs> I also work full time, so I have to do work and then come home and sometimes do dishes, and that sucks, but I do them. I have no patience for this kind of shenanigans. She's. I'm sorry if some of you think this is mean and cold and bitchy and catty. Maybe it is. Um, however, she's 37 years old. It's time to start becoming an adult. And part of being adult is doing things you don't necessarily want to do. There are many benefits to being an adult. One, I live on my own. That comes with responsibilities. Some of us don't have the budget to just order DoorDash every day, so we have to do things like cook. So, <laughs> Chantel, to put it perfectly bluntly, pick up your fucking house. Listen, I have to keep saying it over and over again. You're 37. Start being an adult. Life isn't about getting to do what you want to do all the time. You get to do what you want to do sometimes, but usually you have to work for that. And especially with your health. 
I think it would be especially important for you to keep things like your bathroom clean. I don't even want to I don't even want to know what kind of condition your toilet is in. Like Oh my god. I can only imagine how disgusting that is, especially with your um history with things like C. diff. Um, I wouldn't think that's good to have a dirty toilet, but I can only imagine that your toilet's disgusting. Now, now you you so eloquently put it, well, you don't live here, so why do you care? Well, no, I mean, I don't care, and no, it, it doesn't actually affect me in any shape or form, but it is concerning that this is your job. YouTube is your job. YouTube is your source of income. Essentially, entertaining me is how you make money. I would think you would want to put some effort into it and make sure that your background, like, I'm not even getting paid for this, okay? And I'm like, people are going to see, so let me make it nice. There are no dishes. It's not dusty. It's clean. My house is clean. I have five pets living in my house. So I am constantly cleaning up. Sometimes I want to come home and just hang out on the couch. But I have to do dishes first. You say that this isn't something you want to do. But I mean, it's, it's not something any of us want to do. You know, and especially if I'm having company over, I keep my house clean, not to impress anybody, but so that no one's like, so people are comfortable. Like I want people to feel like I made an effort. Like I knew they were coming over. So I made my place nice. And you know, and I, I lit some candles and I cleaned up and I got some food out and some snacks or, some beverages, like maybe I, I bought something that one of my friends liked and it was available. So they came over, I'm like, hey, I got you your favorite beverage. My friend's like, oh, that's so nice of you, you know, because I knew you were coming over because we planned this. You know, it's called being a good hostess. So like, if you think about it like that, you're kind of hosting us in your home. So when you smart mouth us and say, well, you don't have to live here, you know, no, we don't live there, but you are inviting us into your home through YouTube. I am inviting you into my home, so I make it nice. It's like you don't get it yourself. So let me speak your language. And it seems to me that you speak fluent sarcasm. Guess what? I'm fluent in sarcasm too. Clean it up. That's all I am asking from you as a creator to create a nice, healthy environment. Don't let your house look like that. So it's really quite simple. Once you get some takeout and you eat that takeout and you're finished with that takeout, you can either, and let's say, one, you finished it entirely. So you just take the empty container and you throw it in the garbage. Say you didn't finish it because it was a lot of food or you weren't as hungry as you thought you were, and maybe you're gonna want it for later. Your best move is to put it in the refrigerator so that it keeps. Now it's not gonna keep for long, but it'll keep longer than if you left it sitting out. Okay? So then, Say like a week goes by and you didn't eat the leftovers. It's probably no longer any good. I give leftovers about a week, five days, usually max. But really, to be honest, anything over four days, I'm not going to eat it. Okay, so then unfortunately, it's going to have to go in the garbage. Garbage is going to get full and you're going to have to take the garbage out. That's life, honey. Sometimes that's just what we gotta do. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> as someone who works in healthcare, I'm just gonna say it. 
do not give medical advice. You cannot flush an infection out of your system with water. That is not a thing. Now, what other weird hang up you have against antibiotics, I don't know, but you are not a doctor. Okay, you did not go to medical school, you didn't go to nursing school, you didn't go to pharmacy school, you didn't do any of that, okay? So you don't actually know. Leave that to the professionals, okay? Because you got some viewers that are very misinformed themselves, do not be spreading misinformation any more than you already are. Okay, if you have a medical concern, do not ask your chat. And if your chat has a medical concern, tell them to speak to their doctor. If you have an ache or pain or you're not feeling good, you've been sick and it's just not going away, unfortunately, it might be an infection. And whatever reason you have in your head for not taking antibiotics, let your doctor decide. If your doctor decides, yeah, antibiotics aren't necessary, then your doctor decided that and that's the end of it. But if you go to your doctor, even with you saying, oh, I just don't think, you know, I'll just drink some water and it'll be all good. Honey, the water ain't the end all be all, okay? Yeah, staying hydrated when you're sick is good to ease the symptoms, especially if you're having like urinary tract infections. It is good to hydrate. However, you know what else is good for a urinary tract infection? antibiotics just saying you know but if your doctor decides that's not something you need well at least you consulted your doctor and I, I can't you know none of us can say anything so it just gets on my nerves it really pisses me off I really don't have the patience for it I do not like watching people exchange medical advice and have the words MD after their name. So, and that that's just something that I'm gonna draw a line in the sand and we just aren't gonna cross it, okay? I'm not gonna give you medical advice. You're not gonna give me medical advice. And also, if you're having problems, you should consult your doctor. Oh my God. Don't tell your chat, I'm just gonna flush it out with some water. <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time. Water is great, but water is not the end all be all. Okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. Is there anything else I'm leaving out? Please stop talking to your viewers the way you do. Please stop being such a biatch to your viewers. If your viewer says your house is disgusting, maybe think about what they're saying. A bunch of people are saying it. Are we all wrong? Again, your job is to invite us into your home. So pick it up. Pick up the shit off the floor. It's your job. If you don't want to do it, get a different job. Oh my God. And let me guess, you're cleaning up because your man's coming over. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not only is it just bad for your mental health to live in filth, it's also bad for your physical health. And with all your ailments, especially the C. diff, which is super concerning to me because that shit is so contagious. I just, I can't imagine. I don't want to see your bathroom, to be honest. No thanks. I'm good. I'm set. I've seen enough. If you ain't picking shit up off the floor, I'm pretty sure you ain't cleaning your toilet. Just all around a bad look for you. Anyways, and your attitude sucks. Be an adult. How many times do I have to say that? Be an adult. Pick up your shit. Do your fucking laundry. Don't put your dirty underwear on the counter. What the hell?
I've put my dirty underwear on my kitchen counters. Let's see how many times. Oh wait, zero. Zero times. And I know this sounds so benign and boring to most of you. It should be benign and boring. But for some people, this is uncharted territory apparently. Some people just don't know how to do this. Yes, this is catty and bitchy and whatever. A dirty house is a complete deal breaker. And I will have something to say, especially, especially if you put it out on, on the public forum like you do. So if you're putting that out there, you better expect some feedback. If you don't want the feedback, then clean it up. It's that simple. I know that's hard, it's foreign. I'm speaking in a weird foreign language that you don't understand, but it's cool. All right, so give it a like, give it a comment. I apologize, I had my comments turned off. <laughs> still learning, still learning, as you can see. I'm learning some fancy editing techniques and stuff. And um, oh, hit the subscribe because I know this sounds so cheesy and dorky, <laughs> but I decided that when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do something fun for you. I'm going to do a giveaway. It's not going to be a huge giveaway. It's going to be something small, but it'll be something that is native to the Pacific Northwest. I'm thinking like maybe a little, I would curate a little, a little snack care package of local things that I like. So once I hit 100 subscribers, I'll do the giveaway and then there'll be a lucky viewer that's going to win it and they will receive a little box of snacks. So, you know, subscribe because <laughs> I think I'm at 67, so we're getting close. I know 100, that sounds so cheesy, but you know, it's a milestone. So, you know, and annually as I develop more, you know, get more subscribers, we'll do more giveaways. But anyways, so if you like this, <laughs> subscribe, even if it's just to win a gift box, okay? <gasps> no shade. <laughs> I've done it myself. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, everyone take care. Have a great night. I do love you. Mwah, mwah, kisses. <laughs> Let's get to a hundred, okay? Cause that'll be fun. <laughs> All right. Anyways, everyone take care. Have a good night. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Get yourself vaccinated. Because if you get yourself vaccinated, the mask can go bye bye. Yeah, good stuff. And Chantel, clean your house. All right. Thank you.